Hello everyone. This week is a special week because it's the CES 2023. This is a conference in Las Vegas. Uh, this is a consumer electronic show and I'm really excited to go. You know, this is one of the perks of being a CTO. I get to travel to all those cool conferences uh, around the world. So really excited about this one because there's a latest and greatest gadget for this year, but also because there's quite a bit of snow here in Montreal. So I'm looking forward for the heat uh, of Las Vegas. So I'll bring you along with me. So let's go. So day number two, today we are actually going to try the Boring Tunnel and that's an underground tunnel to get to the CS. Uh, it's going to bring me all the way across uh, the Vegas Strip. So pretty excited about it. I'm a pretty huge fan of Tesla. So uh, let's check it out. All right, so this is my chauffeur. Thanks. I was expecting to go underground like right from the start. Uh, it seems like we're going outside, right? We're going to go underground here in just this moment. How many Teslas are looping uh, in those tunnels? Uh, I know our fleet is around 90 something vehicles, but how many are in the system right now? I'm not 100% sure. All right, sir. You have a great day. Thank you, you so much too. for the loop. Thank you. Bye bye. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. All right, so we are here. It took about three minutes, and he was saying that the maximum usually it's like 35 minutes uh, from the regular people uh, on the outside world. That's great. All right, we are finally in. The lady just told me I was uh, pretty sexy on my picture. Go check my Instagram if you want to see it. So the first thing I want to see is the scooters and the bicycle, for obvious reason. This show is massive. A little bit creepy. You can see it's crazy that the diversity what they have here. You have motorboats, you have cars. That thing is massive. 600 horsepower. That's gigantic. Now check the size. Me compared to a tire. Uh, <laughs> Next venture of Apollo. Excavation. Okay, so that's actually electric. Look at this. Yeah, I think the lights on the Pro are actually cooler than this. Sorry, Ted Black. No, I had this one when I was younger, a bit smaller, but I had this as a toy. That's crazy, look at this. <laughs> you know, we always complain how hard it is to get the scooter to one of those conference with all the shipping and everything. I cannot imagine <laughs> getting one of those here. My God. My name is Amber and I'm working Amber. for VinFast during the uh, CES here in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're, you're interested more in the ape hanger. Yes. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, see how it works and then We've got e-buses, we've got electric vehicles, we've got e-scooters and then we've got the e-bikes. Do you have the e-scooters here as well? We don't have the e-scooters here as well. We just have the e-bikes. The cars are available. So the V8 is available, ready to go. It's actually taking delivery now in January. And you've got the VF9, which is going to be ready uh, in the spring of this year. You've got your six and sevens over here. We haven't quite decided when we're going to release those. Sweet. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Pleasure. Have a good time. All right, thanks. You can see those bicycles, huh? Eh? Uh, pretty good. I love it. 
This one, this one is pretty cool though. Love those lights, it's signature lights. So they were saying that they're making electric scooters, electric bicycle, electric cars, agriculture, marketplace, uh, robots. Uh. That's pretty cute. Love it. That's the central for zombie apocalypse. I'm not too sure what this is, but uh -huh. it's a food delivery robot, look like. Or a dispenser, rather. This one is full. People definitely love Amazon. This looks like the new suspension of the Pro. I see it. Sweet. What are you doing here? Our company uh, developed a software control system. Okay. Which allows you to create new vehicles fully controlled by software. Oh, maybe okay. just walk me maybe through the difference of this one. They are obviously very different. This one has a robotic arm. This one is yeah. with TVs inside. Is it like? Aim for publicity, this one? No, yeah, I, I'm trying to fix the video. Uh, oh, okay. But this one is. Yeah, that's the background of Microsoft. I know, <laughs> I tried to fix it. But it meant to carry uh, parcels, you know, your okay. groceries, your uh, Amazon orders. Do you have any on markets right now? Out there, like. Uh... We just have trials happening in Europe at the moment. Okay. Uh, Where about in Europe? England. Okay. Uh, we have partners like Mercado. Uh, which is an online retailer for grocery. And, and this one here is more for uh, off-road applications. Oh, you really? have, for example, mining, fineries, some of the industrial applications, could be agriculture. That's right? surprising because it looks so refined, you know, for a product that would do oh. mining. <laughs> it looks like almost a car, you know, that you would see on the street or... Well, now that you mention it, I yeah. do see it, like with the, the crazy cage here. Like, yeah, uh, this, this you could roll over, it would never break. Really cool. And uh, where should people go if they want to hear more uh, about this? You know, I think the best way is look for us online, applyev.com. Okay. That's our company. Uh, we are from Australia. Cool, that's great. And what is your name? Luciano Nakamura. Luciano. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, thank Hello. you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, have a good show. You too. Bye-bye. So that was really cool. You can see it's a software company that want to put their software into multiple vehicle. They're not manufacturing any hardware. It's uh, really just to allow people to take their hardware, you know, their kind of car, as you saw, it's really, well, you can do anything with it, right? And with uh, their software, you can program it to do either mining, agriculture, uh, parcel delivery, food delivery, like he was mentioning. So it's really cool. And I think it's putting the emphasis on just how much a motor controller is important because that's the first bit, the first video I showed of that stand, but it just showed that the software is critical to innovate uh, in that market and uh, the, the hardware too, in a sense, right? You need the motor controller to be able to uh, accommodate all those change and all those different hardware that it's gonna be connected to. So really interesting. Now we're gonna look at Mitsubishi. Who needs the dogs after that, huh? Do you have any questions? Yeah. What are those? Uh, these are our uh, AV. He, he knows all about those. Uh -huh. hey, did you get one of these actually? So what do we have here? So we're showing light engines for augmented reality glasses. Okay. Okay, so these provide the display or projector capability in augmented reality. So it's like the Google Glass that we saw a couple of years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they. I think this year at Google I.O. they showed uh, a form factor similar to this. like. They look like regular glasses. 
Will there be almost a way that this become VR as well? So really much more immersive, you know? Yeah. yeah. Not, not at first. These are uh, designed to be like more information displays. So that was pretty interesting. You saw some glass that were similar to what Google made a couple years ago, but it seems like now they are much more advanced and they are able to get the, the price down. Uh, so that's great. And, uh, and those screen with the rotating thing, it's technology from like the Iron Man movie, right? Uh, pretty cool stuff from LG. Uh, pretty excited to see more about it. So very unique bike, old school. Pretty cool. Weird choice of floor. <laughs> All right, so now we are in the second hall and you'll see this one has a lot of uh, electric cars, uh, other gadgets, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna start by looking at the new concept of the DeLorean, you know, the car from Back to the Future. So check this out. So this one is from the same design uh, firm, I guess. And it's one of those pod to carry people, but this one are hiding the the wheels, which I think it's pretty cool. And you can see like the front white light, the headlight, uh, the brake light, so you still know which one is the front and the back um, because of those light and those wheel covers. So that's pretty cool. That's the coolest one I've seen so far uh, for some of those pods. So really cool. Shout out to ITOL Design. Another one of those pods. Those wheels that are lighting up are works internally with all the wires for, for the light while the, the wheels spin. So you can see this one is uh, less intimidating. Eh? Almost look friendly with those lights. Look like a happy robot, you know? Wow, well, look at this. It's pretty high to the ceiling. Really cool. So pretty interesting, no mirrors on the car, all solar panel on the roof, on the front hood, uh, on the trunk. Not sure how efficient it is, but uh, the design of it, pretty cool. Light here. All right, so now we're gonna go check Yadea, which is a Chinese company that do uh, pretty much everything. They're doing motorcycle, electric scooters, moped, bicycle. Our scooters still much, look much better, but uh, it's interesting. Wow. That's a really cool control here. Returning signal. Look at this. Throttle, well, still a classic. I like how smooth it is, though. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. That's a really cool scooter. What are the specs of that scooter? This the the uh, brand is 60 kilometers. All right. Okay. Yeah. The the max speed it can be 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers per yeah, hour. Yeah. I like how uh, clean the design is. You yeah, know, it's the, all equal and. Yeah, yeah. The design is very smooth. And what's the price of that scooter? Just the the uh, sales price, retail price is one thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. One motor or two motors? One. One motor. Okay. Okay, and what about this one? That's pretty interesting. Yeah, so yeah. a three-wheel scooter. Okay, can you turn it on? Does it have battery inside? Oh, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. This bicycle is also pretty cool. You um, can see it's a Super 73 style, but with a closed frame. Uh, I really like this. Pretty cool. 
So yeah, there you have it here. This is the logo. All right, so now let's look at the boat. Okay, so those boats are really interesting because they have an e-foil at the bottom. So there is some sur surfboard with those. And you probably saw this, it's the board that seems to be levitating out of the water when they ride. So that's the same principle with the boat. So actually, if it, it is on the water, it would look exactly like this. It would stand out of the water, uh, which is kind of nuts, right? If you want to look different on the water, well, that's a boat for you. And I would think, yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's electric as well. It's crazy to see the size of the small motor though, huh? It's just a small thing there at the back. So yeah, pretty impressive. Okay, what do we have here? Classic Japanese robot, huh? With the little cat there. Look pretty smooth. But you know, at Apollo, uh, we love dogs, so that's a no. <laughs>